okay in this video tutorial we are looking at the implementation of LMS algorithm for noise cancellation on DSK TMS 320C6713 the motivation of this algorithm uh, the motivation for this experiment is the noise cancellation earphones which are trending nowadays and obviously there they might be using some uh, faster, algori faster algorithm because this algorithm is little bit slower for that kind of applications. So before we go for the implementation part, let me just give you a brief idea of the mathematics behind this algorithm. It completely depends uh, based on the adaptive filter. This algorithm is based on the adaptive filter and an adaptive filter is a device that relates two signals or two systems by creating a logic between them all right and in this uh, structure the structure that you see on the screen is a general configuration of adaptive filters where we have a desired signal dn a reference signal xn adaptive filters coefficients hn and the output of the adaptive filter yn so what exactly we are doing here is we are we are subtracting this yn from dn and the resultant error the resultant difference is called error which is fed back to the adaptive filter and in that way adaptive filter by by taking the value of error decides that how much variations or how much adaptation it needs to be done in the in the coefficient so that the 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 signal yn will be equal to the signal dn we are we are trying to train this xn signal with by multiplying with hn so that the yn is equal to dn and uh, if we substitute the value of yn that is hn into xn we will have the first equation if we take the square of this error signal then we will have equation like this and we are calling it jn and if we take the derivative of jn with respect to hn we will have minus 2 en xn we will use this equation later so let's keep it in this way for now okay so so to relate those two equation those two signals we need to find the best optimum filter okay let me tell you one thing our aim our objective in this experiment is to reduce the error uh, the minimum the error is the perfect signal we will have all right so if we plot the square of the error by taking it on y-axis and the filter coefficients on x-axis then we will get a parabolic curve like this and if we want to reach the h optimum uh, then we need to move towards right on x-axis let's say if we are at time equal to n that is we are having hn to move towards h optimum we need to add the slope of this error in hn then we will get hn plus 1 the updated coefficient and in this way we will we will reach to h optimum and this equation describes the operation that is that we need to perform here all right and let's let's substitute the value of this derivative which we have calculated in the equation 3 and the final equation will be this one hn plus 1 equal to hn plus mu en xn where mu is the adaptation factor if we look at the summary of this adaptive filter then we will have uh, uh, we will have to initialize hn before then it, it can be any number 
it can be a random number or the HN can be zero initially then we will calculate error then update those coefficients and these two steps are repeated until we get the minimum value of error to perform this experiment uh, to perform this project we need obviously a PC with code composer studio so that we can interface the DSK board with PC and a gold wave the, the software gold wave this software uh, we use this software to to generate the signal all right and a DSK and aux cable let now let me show you how we are generating the signal in gold wave this is the window of the software gold wave and if we go to the tools expression evaluator then from here we can select whatever signal we want and the gold wave will generate that signal for you and the, the signal in white is a sine wave and the signal in red is the noise signal so let's play these two signals individually and see how they sound first I'm playing the sine signal Now let's play the noise signal. Now I'm gonna play both the signals together. So you heard that these we have contaminated the sign signal with the noise and now with the help of our LMS algorithm, we are cancelling out this noise from the uh, sign signal. All right. Here is a DSK board, and here is the speaker from which we will hear uh, the output. And we are feeding DSK board with this aux cable it's going to the input channel and this channel is going to the speaker and this is a USB cable and through this USB cable we are uh, dumping the code into the DSK board alright let's let's play play the the signal that we have created in the gold wave and see and and let's let's observe the result in the speaker So if you observe carefully in the beginning there was some noise and now it's playing a pure and perfect sine wave signal. 